Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Now today we are presenting a popular incline friction question that we have solved. The question reads, a 100 newton block sits on a rough horizontal floor. The coefficient of sliding friction between the block and the floor is 0 0.250. A horizontal force of 90.0 newtons acts on the block for 3.00 seconds. Calculate the velocity of the block after 3.00 seconds if it starts from rest. Now the first thing we're going to do here is to pull the information out of the question and represent a force diagram. Now the block of 100 newton sits on the horizontal floor. Since the floor is rough, we will have a frictional force. The frictional force could go either to the right or to the left. It was not specified, so it doesn't really matter. We'll, we will also have the weight of the object, which is acting downwards, and that is mg, and it is equivalent to 100 newtons. Opposing the weight is the normal force acting upwards, and that is also equal to 100 newtons. Then we can now represent our applied force, which is 90 newtons. And remember, time is 3 seconds. Now, once we have this, we can now start to calculate. The first thing we can calculate here is the frictional force. And frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. And so here we have the frictional force equals to 0 0.25 multiplied by 100 newtons equal to 25 newtons. The next step we will find here is the total force along the x component and the two forces that are acting on the x component are the frictional force and the applied force. So therefore, since they're going in opposite directions, we're going to subtract them. So therefore, the total force is equal to the applied force F minus the frictional force. And so here now we have 90 minus 25 and the we get the total force index component being 65 newtons. The next step is the final acceleration. The acceleration is equal to the total force in the x divided by the mass. Where this comes from is the formula force equals to mass times acceleration. Okay? So therefore, the acceleration is equal to 65 divided by 10.2. Where do we get the 10.2 from? It is the weight, which is 100, divided by gravity, which is 9.8, and so we get 10.2, okay? So therefore, acceleration is equal to 6.37 meters per second square. All right, the next step, since we have acceleration and we have time, we can now find our velocity, and velocity is equal to acceleration times time. So therefore, the velocity is equal to 6.37 multiplied by 3, and 3 is the time, so therefore, the velocity is 19.11 meters per second. All right, so I hope this was really helpful, and you really have fun working your calculator with me. And so I want to thank you for watching this lesson, and I want to remind you that you should always be thankful. Have a blessed and wonderful day.